Version 2.3 dropped for Genjin Impact with a brand new boss fight. Bring those Geo characters because you will need them. We got a brand new domain with items to farm. Many more changes. Like we'll cover everything you need to know in this video. And I will also be doing a, a 10 pull on one of the new banners at the end. And if you go to the events overview page after installing the new update. You will see the Beasley Rift revealing the brand new world boss. And you find this Golden Wolf Lord on the brand new Turumi Island. Island. And you of course need to have access to Inazuma before you can go here. There is a festival point which is nice and overall I really like this new encounter. Having a ranged character is by the way great because the Wolf Lord will be floating around. Although melee can work too as the boss will drop down in between attacks. So then he becomes a really easy target. So after dodging his attacks and dealing damage when he's on the ground. He for example does a tornado. It was easy for me to just outrun it. After that, there will be a new phase where he will drop three small wolf skulls in the arena that disappear when using Geo attacks. Like sure, other elemental abilities also work, but it will be smart to bring at least one Geo character to the fight because then these skulls will disappear in no time. So Noelle with her burst is amazing for this phase. Of course, she's a returning 4 star in the new banner. Just save her ability for this phase and pop it when the skills appear. And you can of course also use her shield to make the skills go away pretty easily. Or of course use other Geo characters to easily bypass this phase. And once you do, once all the skills are gone... The Wolf Lord will be down for quite some time. So now it's time to unleash all your attacks. And maybe take the boss out before he gets up again. And one of the rewards is a brand new Ascension material. Likely for the upcoming new Geo characters. So you can already farm it before Ito and Goru come to the game. And they will likely need this material. And you by the way can already try out Guro in his new hangout. We see that in footage here from Livefool and a link to the channel, of course, in the video description. You can, of course, also reach this via the event page. And a quick side note, it seems like they added a fast travel spot to Beidou's ship for her hangout, which is nice. But yeah, Ito and Goru will drop on December 14th. That is when the current banner is over. And you can of course try out the current characters that are available in the new double banners. They are both the same, only the 5 star character is different and the 50-50 is shared between them. So getting a different 5 star in one banner means that the next time you wish and get a 5 star... It will be the character on the banner you're currently wishing on. Again, I will do my 10 pool at the end of the video. And going back to the test runs. Because by inspecting Albedo in his test run. You already see the new Cinnabar Spindle Sword. We did a separate video on it. Going a bit more in depth on it. So totally check it out on the channel if you haven't already. And we will be able to get it during the Shadows Amidst Snowstorms event. That starts November 25th till December 13th. But the event shop will stay open. Open for one extra week and we also named the requirements in that sort video linking it at the end of this one and by the way if you like the video so far then totally leave a like would really help me out and also subscribe to this brand new Genjin Impact channel like we will do way more videos so yeah subscribe to stay up to date would be awesome now before we look at the brand new artifacts you can get in a new domain let's go over some smaller changes they namely now organized the artifacts according to their sets which is nice we see a great example here from Xander on Reddit. And in the patch notes, they now say that the default sorting sequence is now quality, level, set, location, and quantity of affixes. And speaking of artifacts, you can now lock them in the acquisition screen, which is nice after doing a domain, for example. And a really nice other change is that if you, for example, want to upgrade a talent, but you don't have the regular materials, then just hit item details, and then you will see that the Stardust Exchange is differently highlighted. If you select that, you will immediately go to the shop and do that selected item. So you can immediately buy it without having to navigate to the shop yourself. After using the domain Reliquary, you can view the artifact attributes on the acquisition screen, which is nice. And we also got brand new idle animations for certain characters that are added alongside the ones they already had. Yanfei uses a magic skill here, looks pretty cool. Toma has finally something to eat, which wasn't the case before. Sayu has a brand new stretch animation. 
And Sara next to the wings also has another new idle move. So while the legendary artifacts from the Wolf Lord boss are similar to the other world bosses, we do have two brand new artifact sets which you can farm in a brand new domain on Serai Island called the Slumbering Court. Yes Jordan, that's right and those new sets are called the Husk of Opulent Dreams and the Ocean Youth Clam. Both of these are earned from the AR40 and 45 ranked versions of this new domain. A strong Electro character will really help you out here as all characters in the party gain a 40% Electro damage bonus and when you trigger the electro charged effect on an opponent they will trigger a damaging shockwave. As to whether the new sets are worth it or not that does of course depend on which characters you like to use. The Husk of Opulent Dream set is very much built for defense heavy geo characters. It boosts your defense by 30% with two pieces equipped and with four pieces your character will gain stacks of curiosity when hitting an opponent with a geo attack while in combat or every three seconds passively when they are off the field. Each stack of curiosity gives you a 6% defense bonus and geo damage bonus and it can stack up to four times so obviously it works great on characters that skill with defense and have a geo vision and one example of that can already be found right now in the trial section as equipping the set on albedo with the new cinnabar spindle sword that we will be able to earn very soon already has some great synergy the sword buffs his elemental damage based on a percentage of his defense and the husk of opulent dreams buff gives albedo more defense and more geo damage so you can already see that there's great synergy with those items Items. Another character that will probably benefit from this set greatly is Arataki Ito, who will be available in a later banner. His elemental burst, the Royal Descent, lets all his normal attacks deal geo damage, which makes it easy to get the four stacks of curiosity, and he also gains a damage buff determined by his defense, which we are raising with those curiosity stacks. So there's some great synergy there too, but if you don't want defense or geo damage, this one isn't really going to do much for you. The second new item set, the Ocean Youth Clam, also works for a very unique type of character, namely a healer who would also like to deal some damage. The two-part set bonus gives you a 15% healing bonus, but once again, it's the four-piece buff where things get really interesting. And don't be scared by the wall of text in the item description, that's mostly just there to explain how the damage is calculated, but the basic effect is that when a character with the set equipped heals a character in the party, which includes themselves, a sea dyed foam will appear. It will stay there for three seconds and will collect power from from healing done while it's up. After those three seconds, the sea dyed foam will explode, dealing damage to opponents for 90% of the healing you did while it was up. This will include overflow healing, which is health that you receive while your health bar is already full, and of course, the more you've healed, the more damage the foam will do. And we've already seen people put this to great use, as Reddit user Super Zero tested this artifact on Kokomi and was able to deal some pretty insane damage to the Primo Geovisha boss with this artifact set. It does set you up for really Really interesting playstyle and the existence of the set alone means that a new healer could also potentially be a strong damage dealer now if you want to swap things up a bit. Yes thanks Dennis, I think I will be farming that defense set for Noel. Okay now let's do the 10 pull, I'm going for Eula, uh, I'm pretty excited about this so uh, let's get going. Got enough primo gems, we of course got 600 from the maintenance which is quite a lot. So we're going to this one and then we're gonna do yes. Let's go. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> really? Immediately? Okay, let's see. What, what, what a luck. My first temple on this banner. Nah. Oh, what? This doesn't make sense. Well, subscribe to the new channel. I hope you enjoy the content. A like on the video would really help me out. Feedback is, of course, welcome. And uh, yeah, we will have more Genjin stuff here. See you in the next one. Goodbye.